Yes, that's the sound of a hockey stick in the police station, and they're practicing for the Copper Cup. I've got Sheldon McNaughton, the organizer, or one of the organizers yep. of the Copper Cup, with us today. And uh, we're down here in the bowels of the Moosetown City Police Department, where they uh, uh, they practice hockey no. and they store cars. Yes, mostly store cars here. Yes, and bicycles. There's a few. Yeah, that's right. We cover all the stolen bikes. This is where we are. Yeah. Well, Sheldon, welcome back to Moose Jaw this week. You've been on the show a couple of times, and yeah. uh, it's kind of nice to have you. And hockey, tell me about this. Yeah, well, we're excited again this year. It's going to be our fourth annual uh, Copper Cup hockey tournament. So it's a pond hockey style tournament. Just uh, Pond hockey? You're even playing close to the pond. That's right. We're playing in the uh, Waccamaw Valley Skating Oval. And uh, yeah, so we'll divide it up into some rinks and play some three-on-three -three hockey outside and enjoy a great uh, winter, hopefully. Yeah. It, it, this is the third year? This will be the fourth year, Fourth actually. year, okay. Yes, yeah. Because I remember last year was so warm, we had, you had to go to Cairnport. That's right. Yeah. We had to actually cancel it uh, initially. It was the uh, middle of February, and there was no ice to be found anywhere. Uh, it was all nice. Just on the street. Yeah, we, <laughs> we could have we played grass hockey, but that's not nearly as much fun. So, yeah. yeah. And, so, and, and, of course, uh, teams are three on three. And you have a fair amount of teams. Who won it last year? I was just wondering. <laughs> Why did you have to bring that up? Uh, the Moose Jaw Fire Department actually won the tournament that uh, the Moose Jaw Police host. Uh, there was no rivalry, no, 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 no back talk or anything? No rivalry there whatsoever, so it was it was hard to see our trophy go there uh, for the whole year, but we've got it back now and it's up for grabs. So we'll see. Uh, the tournament's open to anybody. It doesn't have to be emergency services. We've had uh, lots of teams from the community, uh, a hardware store, um, some plumbers, some teachers. Uh, the, it's open to anybody so come on and get, take a chance to any as long as someone wins it other than the fire department we'll all be happy <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, so the copper cup let's talk about when it is so when does it take place yeah it'll be on february the 19th which is a saturday it is a sunday sunday okay and uh we're excited again this year to try to coincide with winter fest put on by the waccamaw valley authority and so it'll be a family fun friendly atmosphere that their event starts at about three o'clock in the afternoon and into the evening and there'll be hay rides and lots of other events for kids and families and uh, we'll, we'll be starting our hockey tournament at about 9 or 10 in the morning depending on which teams show up and we'll be feeding our players lunch and um, uh, we'll be having a fire going out at the uh, pavilion and hopefully just enjoying a great winter day. Hot dogs? Not sure what we're going to have on the menu, but for sure, yeah. probably hot dogs or hamburgers. Uh, we're not going to get. Seems to be the, the, yeah. the thing. Not if you have a hamburger, you got to have fried onions because you know. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. Rinks, that's well, what they have. Well, that's true. This is an outdoor thing, so yeah. Uh, we'll yeah, wiener roast would be nice, I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. So we should talk about when it is, and and that, but also talk about why you're doing this, and uh, and what's the purpose behind the Copper Cup. Right. Well, the Moose Jaw Police Association here, our members have been involved in the community, and we've also taken the opportunity to raise funds for some community projects and some of our local charities. So uh, we've engaged in a few fundraisers and this is an idea that was uh, brought up a few years ago that um, we've never really had a pond hockey tournament uh, in the Moose Jaw area so we decided to start one and uh, yeah we've had a lot of success with it and I think it's gaining in some popularity and uh, we've been able to raise um, uh, I think almost five thousand dollars every time so far this year so this year we're targeting to raise more Mm -hmm. And uh, just, I guess, you know, we, we see uh, our role as police officers, obviously we're already involved in the community, yeah. but uh, as our association and our members, when we're off duty, we can also still contribute, and this is one of the ways that we're able to do that. Because there's a lot of, like, uh, I know some of the hockey players on the police force, uh, guys who play WHL hockey, and also they, they do a lot of coaching, yeah. and you've had uh, people who are also uh, involved with refereeing and officiating, of course, in, right, uh, yeah. in the past few years, so it's really, uh, you know, it's a, a really good way yeah. for, to use the skill sets that you guys have outside of your police job to participate in this. No, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, uh, hockey is a great Canadian game, and it's uh, uh, involves a lot of teamwork, and uh, policing is 
no different in that way. We, uh, we love to do our job, but it's also part of being a team, and uh, that's why I think this is such a great fit. Yeah. And three on three, so the, the rink is not huge. How many rinks do you, do you put on the oval? Yeah, we can put three on each straightaway, so we can have six rinks at a time going. And um, yeah, we just play three on three, and uh, there's, there's still lots of skating for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> is enough? Is enough, for sure. So the teams can be up to six players, and but only three on the ice at a time. But only three at a time, and they can just change on the fly like normal hockey. Uh, the big difference is there's no goaltenders. Uh, we've designed special pond hockey nets. Uh, very short, very shallow. Yeah. Right? So there's no raising the puck. The puck has to stay on the ice, and uh, you have to. There's some skill involved because you have to be able to shoot from outside the crease, and the defensive team can't block it. Uh, can't play goal. Uh, they can't block the shot within the crease. So you, you have to be a little bit of a, a sniper to score but uh, that's part of the challenge. Well, yeah, and of course your shooting skills, which you, you know, you know practice down here uh, on your off-duty time it's just between shifts to come on in and shoot some pucks. Yeah. Maybe you have like a, a, a Sidney uh, Crosby dryer around or something where the guys shoot at? Yeah, that would be, I think the Chiefs car maybe it's in the background. <laughs> it has uh, no dents on it, I'm just saying. No, no, there's no dents on it. We've we're not very good shooters. Here. No, we're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, you know, and it's a, it's a really good thing because uh, you have like I think up to 15 or 16 teams a year. Yeah, we can we can manage up to uh, 20 teams. Uh, we've not come near that yet. Yeah. We've had I think 12 teams was the most that we've had, which was a pretty good size. Yeah. And um, you know, there's lots of hockey still for everyone to play, and everyone has a good chance to, you know, everyone's going to have a lot of fun. They're going to come away with a lot of prizes. We're going to feed them, and uh, yeah, just to be a great day. Is there a cost to enter? Yeah, each team is a $300 uh, registration to enter. Okay. Now, um, when you when they're playing the hockey, you see they jump in, jump off. How long are games? So it's a two 12-minute halves. Um, the first year we did 15 minutes, and the guys <laughs> were asking to have them shorter because it's pretty long, I guess. So uh, the 12 minutes goes by pretty quickly. Uh, then we'll take a two-minute halftime break and then play another 12 minutes, and whoever has the most goals wins. And then that's we'll, a good way to have it. That's a good way to have it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I just I, I'm really happy that you're. you're that the police force has taken that on to do. It's a, it's a positive thing for the community. It's fun for everybody to get to do. Yeah. Lots of uh, yeah. good things about it. So how do they go about registering? Sure, they can visit the Moose Jaw Police website. That's mjpolice.ca. And there will be a banner on there that shows the Copper Cup. And there will be some links to a registration form as well as the rules if you want more information on that. There's uh, rules? There is rules to <laughs> hockey, yes. <laughs> and they will be enforced. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. By uh, by some police volunteers, so yeah, make sure. Are there referees the involved with it? Uh, well, yeah, we'll have some off ice officials. Is what we'll all handle it for the playoff games. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's it's more of a friendly, fun environment. And the teams so far have always gotten along really well. It's pretty they'll, easy they'll, to keep score. Uh, they'll police themselves. They absolutely <laughs> police themselves. That's what a great community does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, you said the firefighters are here. You guys are here, and jerseys. You guys even have jerseys. <laughs> Yes, we have some police jerseys, and we've actually ordered some new ones, oh. but uh, they won't be here in time for that event. Uh, well, we hope that they will be, actually, I guess. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll come out and see what the new police jerseys look like. So, Yeah, yeah and so uh, how about the 15 wing? Is, have they got anybody involved yet? Uh, we've just started. We we're a little bit behind this year in getting the invitations out, so I haven't heard back from them yet, but they've always been pretty supportive, yeah. uh, so I would expect that they would put a team in for sure. Yeah, so and and maybe we should challenge them to actually put a team in. I was thinking that, me, and okay. also there's some guys in town who you know think that they just, for whatever reason, the call never came. Oh, you know to you know to go on beyond. And I know that they think that they think they're and they know they're pretty good hockey players. Yeah. Perhaps they should get out there and uh, yeah. three on three. If you get six guys, it's 50 bucks a piece, a piece, and you get like six hours of hockey for 50 bucks. No, absolutely, it's a great bargain for the entertainment for full day, yeah. and we'll feed you as well. So. So uh, you yeah, can't the, miss. The big thing about the feed of the police, I don't, yeah, that's really good. 
but we have all sorts of good things happening. And uh, so let's go re just re uh, restate who, when, where, that kind of thing. Sure, yeah, so it'll be the Copper Cup presented by the uh, Moose Jaw Police Association. And uh, it'll be a three-on-three -three pond hockey style tournament at the Waccamaw Valley Skating Oval. And that'll be on February the 19th. And uh, we'll, once we know how many teams are involved, we'll get it started. But anyone's welcome to come down and watch. Uh, so we'll be getting going for sure by 10 o'clock and come and stay for some lunch, enjoy some fire, watch some hockey, and then uh, enjoy Winterfest, which starts at three o'clock and there'll be lots of fun and uh, family events uh, going on there too. So That's a great idea. So yeah. thanks for doing that, Sheldon. And, and thanks to the police force for bringing this forward. It's, it's a good yeah. Sunday afternoon activity. So yeah, you bet. folks, if you get a chance to, uh, want to participate get there and if you want to watch go out there and have a good time and Sheldon thanks for being All right, here. Thanks Lyle appreciate it. Okay we'll yeah. shake hands. Okay sounds yeah. good. Just like in hockey. That's right. <laughs> okay we'll be right back after this.